A wildfire is an uncontrolled, destructive fire that burns over a large area, often fueled by dry conditions, high winds, and flammable vegetation. Also known as bushfires, forest fires, or wildland fires, wildfires have been increasing in both frequency and intensity across the globe in recent years. In Australia, the catastrophic bushfires of 2020 burned through over 18 million hectares of land, destroyed thousands of homes, and caused the tragic loss of both human lives and countless animals. The skies above major cities turned an eerie orange as smoke billowed across the country. In Europe, the summer of 2023 saw unprecedented wildfires in countries like Greece, Spain, and Italy, fueled by record-breaking heat waves and drought conditions. Entire communities were forced to evacuate as flames engulfed forests and towns alike. And in California, the fires of 2025 proved to be among the worst in the state's history. Despite the state's long history of wildfires, these fires burned faster, spread wider, and destroyed more homes than ever before, devastating both rural and suburban areas. So what is causing these wildfires to become more frequent and more destructive? While wildfires are a natural part of some ecosystems, human activities have significantly worsened the situation. One of the key factors behind this increase is climate change. The Earth's climate is changing due to the buildup of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, largely from human activities like burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes. Carbon dioxide, methane, and other greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere, causing global temperatures to rise. This warming has a direct impact on the conditions that make wildfires more likely and more severe. As global temperatures rise, we are seeing longer and more intense heat waves, which dry out soil, vegetation, and forests, making them more susceptible to catching fire. Changes in precipitation patterns mean some areas are receiving less rainfall, leading to prolonged droughts. When vegetation dries out, it becomes perfect fuel for fires to ignite and spread rapidly. And it's not just the lack of water that is a problem. Higher temperatures also lead to earlier snow melts, reducing the water available during the peak fire season. Another major factor is the increasing occurrence of unseasonal and stronger winds. High winds can fan the flames of a wildfire, helping it spread quickly over large areas. These winds can carry embers for kilometers, sparking new fires far from the original blaze. In some cases, these embers have landed in suburban neighborhoods, setting homes, schools, and businesses on fire. This has led to more and more fires encroaching on urban areas, turning what used to be isolated wild land fires into disasters that destroy entire communities. The consequences of these wildfires are far-reaching. When forests burn, entire ecosystems are affected. Plants and animals that depend on these habitats can be displaced or wiped out entirely. In Australia's 2020 bushfires, it's estimated that over 3 billion animals were impacted. A staggering loss of biodiversity. Beyond the environmental impact, the effect on humans can be devastating. Fires that reach suburban areas can destroy homes, infrastructure, and livelihoods. Families can lose everything they own in a matter of minutes and affected communities are left to rebuild from the ashes, 
a process that can take years. The rise in frequency and intensity of wildfires is a stark reminder of the urgent need to address climate change. The conditions that lead to wildfires, drought, dry vegetation, extreme heat, and high winds are all worsened by a changing climate. Tackling this issue means reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting forests, and finding ways to adapt to a world where extreme weather events are becoming more common. Without action, the wildfires we are seeing now may only be the beginning of even greater challenges to come.